hey guys welcome back in today's video we will be discussing about the tracing model of mulesoft this video is more onto the generic or you can say more commonly used concepts within it applications so what do we mean by tracing tracing is a concept through which i can uh, correlate request and response so let's suppose you are having uh, a lot many requests coming onto your system let's say onto onto http listener and you want to make sure the response which is sending back uh, to the uh, to the initiator is is the same which for which the request was being made so how to do that so there is a word of correlation correlation id correlation id and this tracing trace model are very uh, tightly uh, coupled with each other so i will explain you by using uh, couple of uh, samples which i have already created so the first one is for the tracing flow and the second one will be exploring about the different variables which we can set in tracing model so first thing first I'm not, let's suppose uh, you have created a new project and you are not able to see this tracing model what you need to do just click on this search in exchange uh, make sure you are able to log in with your username and password and if not click on add account and it will ask for your any point account exchange details go over here and type for trace sorry I have uh, put the wrong name but this is the trace and just select this one put it onto the right hand side of it using the add button and you can check for the version since this is the latest release from mulesoft so that's why you are able to see only 100 version click on finish and it will start uh, putting up all the tracing related functionality within your available modules so by doing so you can see there are a couple of operations which are available the first one is for the scope and the routers which comes with correlation id i will be discussing more about this and the rest things are setting the logging variable then uh, removing a specific logging variable and then clearing all the logging variables so to start with uh, this is one of the first flow which i have created nothing fancy um, having a basic http listener setting a payload over here let me show you the payload as well very generic payload having two instances of order id one order id is x5 z456 the second one is abc123 rest of the things uh, i'm being lazy and i have not changed the values because i am more concerned about the unique order ids okay the next one is the simple logger i am just printing out the payload i will let you know why i am printing this the next one is i have put down a for each for each for every order id basically and then i have drag and drop this with correlation id inside this uh, for each loop and place this logger from my core or you can see the favorites and put it down over here within the correlation id what i am trying to put the correlation id as the correlation id along with the hyphen sign and then order id just to make it a unique every time a new new order id is being created and there is a logger in which i am uh, printing with this particular stream with tracing module with correlation id and what is the specific order id which we are processing that i am going to print and finally there is a transform message which is basically printing into the json format you can you uh, this is optional not not required as such directly so one more thing uh, we need to change the log for the setup as well for this so with respect to this particular application you have to just go to the src main resources log for j2 xml and uh, here uh, you can see the appendix part mdc you have to put this mdc instead of uh, the default uh, values so to so replace uh, replace everything which is over there and just place percentage within brackets square brackets mdc that should work and uh, within this part uh, you have to mention the the appender ref as the ref console which i have uh, used over here that that is more than enough 
but this is again i am repeating this is only with respect to this particular application if you want to implement the same thing over the entire setup then you have to uh, set it up in the um, mule 4 uh, enterprise edition runtime uh, settings as well okay so now uh, i have started this particular uh, environment and i am going to hit it from uh, my postman okay i'm just trying to look out for that trace mule soft get trace so this is the first one um 8081 is the default port in most of the videos i am using 8081 but it is optional you can change it according to your wish if it is already being used somewhere else within your applications click on the send button and you can see because of the last transform message it is giving me back the same message which i have uh, set in this set payload now let's try to understand these particular logger messages okay first of all uh the correlation id is getting printed then the processor path and after that uh, this entire payload xyz456 and abc123 this is printing out from this particular logger after that we get uh, into this uh, particular of with correlation id inside for each and you can see there is a change in the correlation id this co this part of the correlation id is the same which we have received in the initial level and after that it is appended with xyz456 correlation id with tracing module correlation id xyz456 and similarly for abc123 you can see over here logic over here is coming out from this particular line which we have set up correlation id that is generated at the first level and after that hyphen and the pay, uh, payload dot order id so this is what uh, you are able to see very simple use case but you can you can use it uh, as per your requirements just just if you want to make a unique correlation id you can use this particular concept now i am going to discuss more about this particular second part of it as i mentioned it is having the operations of setting removing and clearing the logging variables so what are these uh, variables so i am talking about any variable which we can set over this particular line here you can see the correlation id sort of variable here is a processor path again sort of a variable similarly if you want to put a user defined uh, variable we it should come up over here as well so we will try to do the same thing so what i have done this is a listener again listening on this particular slash stress variable and after that i am setting this uh, logging variable as test where and the value as test value sample values nothing fancy again now this logger is there trying to put test where and then payload printing the entire thing the second part is customer id which i am going to print from the payload then sort uh, setting the uh, logging variable with request path as the variable name i am putting the values from the attributes method and the request path then again putting a logger just after this activity okay and from here onwards i have started removing the uh, variables so when the variable is removed you will not be able to see the values as well test where then i i am going to print it again after removing test where and then if i remove all the variables then how it is going to print so in nutshell what i have done setting the variable a generic variable test where printing it putting a, a variable from a, a payload value that is the customer id again after this test where which is uh, printing out of the um, the method and the request path then removing it the first one the test where clearing all the variables and printing on each and every step just to make sure we are able to see what um, what every um, functionality is performing okay let me clear up the console and go back to my postman so this is the trace variable and this is the sample payload this is a post method again and i am going to hit the send button you can see it is uh, reverting me back as 200 okay so everything is good but the more important thing over here is the logs so let's try to 
correlate the things within the tracing module so the first one is the correlation id is getting generated and we have set the test verse with the value test value okay and after that we are trying to print the sample trace verse set so test verse and the payload so test verse and after this the payload is printed so here what we have done user defined uh, variable is created for the logging variable and we have uh, put down a particular value to it in the second thing what i have done i have put down the customer id this customer id from the payload and again assigned it as a variable within the uh, logging as a logging variable so it is getting printed that's all things for the request uh, request path and the process path and test verse because test verse was already created at this level okay so this particular line after setting the trace verse it is coming up at this particular level okay after setting trace verse the payload is printed and you can see this is the particular line now in the next step what we have done we have removed the test where value so logger after removing test where here you can see there is no test where correct likewise here it is test where test value is there combination but here it is being removed because of this particular step and this particular logger is coming out from this particular logger activity okay now in the next and the final uh, stage of this particular flow i have removed all the possible uh, variables which i have created so when i say that includes customer id the request path and uh, test where was test where was already removed okay so with this particular flow what i have tried to show you is like how we can make use of uh, logging variables how we can remove a specific logging variable and how we can clear out the entire setup again it is very fruitful and uh, it is of great importance rather than custom coding the correlation id directly use this stress model it's of great help i know this is a uh, this video is coming up after a long period of time but i hope uh, this was useful and uh, it will be of uh, you can use it uh, at least in in most of your application because correlation is something which is uh, which is being used in each and every simplest of the use case which we which you can design not only in uh, any point studio but everywhere correlation id is must because it is help because it helps in doing the tracing right so i hope you like this video hit the share button and spread the word thank you thank you